Every family has its legends, and every legend has a hero. In my family, Bronislaw Malinowski was the family's claim to fame. The great scientist of man, founder of modern anthropology, and famed field worker. Explorer of foreign cultures and expert on mythology, sex, trade, and social dynamics. But as Malinowski's story came down to me in bits and pieces, I couldn't figure out whether he was the hero or the villain. It was always difficult to separate the truth from legend. In one story, he was the blind hypochondriac laying in the aisles of a grand opera hall while the music swept over him. In others, he was described as the great adventurer, almost burned at the stake by aborigines. The Malinowski story was a mix of tragedy, heroic achievement, and adventure. It was a mixed-up fairy tale, complete with a tragic queen and an evil stepmother. What is important about him, or sort of in a broader sense, is one thing, but you know what he stood for in the family and the, the havoc that um, that wrought, really, within the family, I think. Um, I, I definitely see him as kind of a negative force in the family. There were three daughters. Their mother got sick with multiple sclerosis, and Malinowski bought a house in northern Italy and put the three daughters there with their dying mother and went off to pursue his career. The huge, overwhelming sadness of those three girls watching their mother slowly degenerate with multiple sclerosis is the thing that uh, I keep thinking about and I think has had you know, reverberations down in the generations in the family. I think there's kind of a juxtaposition when you think about Malinowski between the historical figure, you know, this man of great accomplishment intellectually, and the human figure, this man who, you know, left his daughters feeling undervalued or unappreciated. Here they had this powerful figure in their lives, but he wasn't engaged in their lives. From my earliest memories, he was always there, although he was dead, as the great god of the family, the great man, the purveyor of the Malinowski curse, what can I say? <laughs>